welcome fellow freaks, geeks, and nostalgic 90s nerds to my channel, Slime and Slashers, where, yep, you might have guessed it, we talk about everything from Nickelodeon Slime to horror movie slashers, but plenty of stuff in between too. And today is kind of one of those in-between videos because today is something unique. We're going to be looking at all of my Halloween clothes because I actually do wear a Halloween piece of clothing, whether that's tights or even like a piece of jewelry or a shirt every single day of October. So we're gonna go through my entire collection. It'll be like a tour of sorts right after this short intro. So I'll see you right back here in just a second. Welcome back guys! And before everything begins, I do want to explain why I had this idea to wear a thematic piece of clothing or, you know, just something thematic every single day of October. And it's all because of this movie called The American Scream, which is not a horror movie, it is a documentary, and it's about these backyard haunters, people who basically create these awesome haunted displays in their backyard and they open them up to the public. Now there are a lot of other documentaries about this type of thing, including a recent one that was just released a few years ago, maybe even last year, that I watched recently. But The American Scream was the very first one I saw. And actually, you know, I really extra like it because the families in it remind me a little bit of my own family because we throw this big Halloween party and it's very stressful. So there's one family in particular where the main guy, the dad, is super obsessed with making everything perfect for his Halloween display. And his wife and him are like kind of arguing and bickering and his kids are all stressed and everyone's stressed because they're trying to get things done for Halloween and set up this big, elaborate, really awesome haunt or, you know, just display essentially. So, you know, there's all this tension and that's how it is in my family when we were having the Halloween party because it's very stressful and it's a lot of work. But the cool thing about it is, you might be saying, well, how does this relate to clothes? Well, that guy had a daughter. He actually had two daughters. One hated Halloween, I guess because her dad was so obsessed with it. She was just like, I'm over it. Whereas the other daughter really loved it just like her dad did. So the one who loved it, I noticed in the documentary she was wearing a lot of Halloween clothes and it wasn't Halloween. It was leading up to Halloween. And in fact, it was like probably over a month before Halloween even hit and she was wearing like thematic tights. And I thought to myself, why is it okay for kids and grandmas to dress up for Halloween in terms of wearing thematic clothing, but not for like normal adults or whatever. But anyway, that girl inspired me and I was like, if she's cool enough and secure enough to wear this Halloween stuff to school every day and doesn't care what the other kids think, I'm gonna wear Halloween clothes every day in October and it's gonna be my little project. So I've done this for years now, including when I went quite a few years ago, I think in 2017, I went to England during October and I still wore my thematic clothes instead of like nice clothes. Now some parts of the day I might have changed into a nice you know, set of clothes, but for the majority of the trip, every single day I wore something Halloween-y. So, Without further ado, we're gonna get into my collection and I'm gonna show you all of these Halloween-y pieces that I'm referencing. A lot of these I don't remember where they're from, so we'll just we'll just see as we go through if I can remember or not. There's a little bit. And if you guys missed it, I did a whole fall vlog where I hung up all of these shirts and I did a time lapse. So if you wanna see me hang them all up, then check that out. All right, here's a baseball tee. This is Skeleton Mickey, very cute. All right, so actually the coolest part about this shirt, I can't really show you right now, it glows in the dark. So once it's exposed to light for a little while, it's gotta be exposed to light. Then you turn the lights off and it glows a little bit. I remember I wore this to bed a few times and then I saw the glow and I was like, what the hell? Oh yeah, it glows in the dark. All right, so I have 61 shirts alone. That's not even counting the tights, the purses, the bows, the flippin' other things I have. I have socks. So yeah, flippin' over 60 shirts, and I do want to add more. This one's not exclusively Halloween, although I consider it kind of Halloween-y because there is a smashed pumpkin here. This thing is dying. It's on its last legs. This is a band t-shirt. I really like ska music, and this is a ska band called The Flaming Tsunamis. I just thought it was so cool that there's a devil here. Like a guy, you can kind of see it's a devil silhouette. And they've TP'd this tree, and it's the name of the band, the Flaming Tsunamis, in the tree, in toilet paper. And again, pumpkins all smashed, kind of like the Devil's Night type of thing. Anyway, this was one of my favorite hardcore ska bands back in the day. They're not from New Orleans or Louisiana, but they toured here. And I saw them multiple times. They played alongside my other favorite ska band, which was from New Orleans, 
that favorite band was called Fatter Than Albert. So Fatter Than Albert and the Flaming Tsunamis played together a lot. And yeah, I wear this to bed or to exercise in, not out. Here is a Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. I use this to work out. I think it's made for working out. And yes, Jack's on the front. You can see some of the other characters at the bottom in shadow here. And just lightning on the back. Kind of show you. These are kind of see-through, but I still wear them just with like something good underneath that you can't like see anything. But this says I Heart Halloween and it's got spider webs and just a cute little heart there and nice orange and purple font. All right, so if any of you guys like wrestling and are still watching me because I used to cover wrestling, then this will appeal to you. So this is a New Day t-shirt. They're a wrestling tag team, and they released awesome shirts for almost every holiday. I have a Christmas one as well. So this is their Halloween shirt where they're eating their cereal that basically they marketed and promoted. Bootios, it's called. That's why it says Bootios. That's the name of the cereal. And of course, their whole logo has to do with unicorns and stuff. So here's a unicorn pumpkin on the back and some bats. I really like this shirt the way it fits, and uh, it's it's a nice shirt. And even though I don't like wrestling too much, I still would wear this around or to exercise. Oh snap! Get it? It's like a skeleton snapping bones. Anyway, whatever. Oh snap! Very cute. This is probably from Walmart, if I had to guess. A lot of these are from Walmart, Target. Here's that same type of material as one I showed you a few shirts ago. Kind of see-through-ish, weird material. There's bats on this one all around. All it is is a shirt of bats. But I like it. Alright, I like the message on this one, but I don't really like the fit, so I hardly ever wear it. But one day a year, I get to be me. And that's Halloween, of course. So you can't really tell too much, but there's a hand here kind of clutching up. It's like a zombie looking hand. So let me just clarify, you might be asking, well, how do you wear over 60 shirts in 31 days? Well, a lot of times I might miss out on a shirt. And of course that sucks because then I wait a whole other year to wear it. But a lot of times I do multiple outfit changes in a day because if I'm going somewhere, I'm like, oh, I'll put this on, whatever. But it's gonna be harder this year because this is the first year I'm working from home like during October. So I'm not going to work and showing off these outfits or anything. So I'll have to really make myself change outfits, uh, especially if it's like a sleep shirt, change it to a normal outfit shirt, change back into another sleep shirt, so I can get all of these worn, because they're amazing. I love these shirts. I look forward to wearing them all year long. All right, so this one is just a cute ghost. He kind of looks menacing, actually. He's not that cute, I guess. It just says boo, and same kind of material, the weird kind of see-through material. This one's going to knock your socks off. Hold on to your diapies, babies, or at least all you 90s kids, because this is a Rugrats-themed horror t-shirt. And it's awesome because all of the Rugrats are basically like horror icons. So you've got Tommy representing like Pinhead. We've got Chucky as Chucky. And we've got the twins as they look like the twins from The Shining, but they're also holding a Jason mask and a Michael Myers mask just to represent the major guys. And Angelica is like Freddy Krueger. And of course, we've got Reptar, the machine. It looks like an evil Reptar. It's got blood all over it. And it says red rum here. Oh my god, you guys know it's amazing. And there's a full moon behind them. Of course, we've got like the Pennywise balloon. I love this shirt. And I've only worn it like once because it's relatively new. So yeah, can't wait to wear it this year for sure. Here's a favorite of mine, Stephen King Rules. This is a replica of the shirt worn by one of the characters in the Monster Squad movie. And I did wear this last year and I can't wait to wear it again. I'm gonna wear it every year because it's amazing. I am going to try to post every single outfit I wear and every single piece I wear on Instagram and do like a story project and save it like on my page. Hopefully that works out. We got Ghostbusters represented, who are you gonna call? But that's not what the shirt says. The shirt says, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Of course, we've got the classic logo there and it's a nice V-neck. This is definitely from Hot Topic. I remember I was so excited when I found it. Of course, this is Pennywise and it's the Tim Curry version of Pennywise from the movie It. And yeah, it's just kind of self-explanatory, but it's amazing. I love this shirt. I love this shirt. Another Hot Topic shirt, I think. This, of course, is another shirt representing the Nightmare Before Christmas. And I just like it. So it's in the shape of a coffin. You got Jack and Sally. And you've got, like, Jack and Sally again in silhouette down here. You 
got these creatures down here. We got a spider. Of course, Zero's right at the top, and I love Zero. There's the mayor outline here. I don't know. This is just a really cool design, and I like it a lot. This says Spooktacular Halloween Carnival, and it's got some other words at the bottom here. And we've got, you know, at the bottom a ghost, a pumpkin, a cat, some skeletons, and bats. So this is just nice. And I need to put it in the dryer because it seems to have a crease in it. You gotta have a pumpkin shirt. It's Halloween time. You gotta have some kind of shirt with a pumpkin face. It is what it is. It's standard. It's necessary. And I have one. A really cool shirt that just says Happy Halloween and lots of skeletons on it. It's light gray and light purple, actually, which is a strange shade of purple. You don't see it often. And they're just kind of chilling. There's some spiders and pumpkins along the way. This is just a very neat nightscape that says boo. Very cute spooky. Innocent eerie. Just bats and trees and houses. One of my favorite pieces, not necessarily Halloween-ish, but Scooby-Doo always reminds me of Halloween for some reason. And so yeah, it's a Scooby-Doo sweater. And I have lots of pictures of me wearing this in England when I visited. Like I told you, I wore a lot of thematic things for Halloween time, and this was one of them. And I was standing like on the way to Liverpool right in front of like this yellow submarine statue thing. And I was wearing my Scooby-Doo sweatshirt. So it's an awesome picture because there's many awesome things in the picture. Scooby-Doo, Beatles, awesome. Now we're getting into my favorite pieces, which are my sweaters. And it's the same line of sweaters, different designs. So this one says Happy Halloween, and it's badass. And it's got rows of cool stuff. Like here we've got candy corns and skulls. We've got skeletons and pumpkins. And then again, it just repeats. But the sleeves are like jack-o'-lantern faces. Come on, guys. You know this is incredible. This is one of my favorite pieces. Well, actually, all of my sweatshirts are. Because then this is one, and here comes more. Here's another one, Happy Halloween, and I'll give you a close-up. So the sleeves are monsters, mainly Frankenstein and a vampire, Dracula. And same thing on the first row with candy corn. Now we've got some colorful designs here. We got haunted houses, and we got skulls and bats. Come on. And then there's some shapes at the very bottom. Amazing. Amazing. I'm always the most excited to wear these, but it's hardly ever cool enough. In Louisiana. Luckily there's a cool front right now. So here's another sweater. Same brand. In fact the brand is called, I don't even know, but this is from, I think this is from Walmart. So this one's all orange, but really cool designs. We got black hats at the top, skulls and bats, spiders, and then it repeats. And basically you've got the skulls and spiders all on the sleeves. And it's just nice. This is random. I bought it because it has candy corn on it. But yeah, it's random that it has like these Marvel characters on it, but I am not anti-Marvel or anti-superhero. In fact, I like superheroes. So I bought it. It says Happy Halloween. It's just really random that they'd be there on a Halloween sweater, but whatever. The candy corns are amazing, as you see. And there's just these random shapes up top. There's some bats and then more shapes on the bottom. So, And it's all candy corn on the back. So if you see me from the back, it's like, whoa, candy corn. All right, here we've got a turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. They're some of my favorite shirts. You can hide in a turtleneck. I love, I just love turtlenecks. I don't know what is wrong with me. I am so from the 90s. It's, I'm like stuck there. Get out of the 90s, Kelsey. I can't. All right, so this is just orange bats and it's great and it's comfy. This is one of my nicer Halloween shirts. It's fitted and it really fits very well. This is just spider webs. So classic, just spider. I like my long sleeve shirts and we're about to get into a whole bunch of them. This one just says trick or treat and it's a pumpkin with a witch hat. And we've got some bats. This one's a little too big for me. Basically all you have are some pumpkins, smiling cute pumpkins, not mean menacing jack-o'-lanterns. These are nice guys. They're nice dudes. Here we have a cute little ghosty and it says boo and it's a nice little material. I'll try to give you a close up shiny and then there's a built-in undershirt it, it's just the neck piece so this is one of my dressier ones as well i love this one simple gray and a very nice sparkly pumpkin another sparkly more like little dots that's a jack-o'-lantern it looks like it's sparkly but it's really not all right we got to my favorite shirt like well i have two favorite shirts so this is one of them 
and I always save it to like basically either the day of Halloween or for a special day where I know I'm gonna be wearing this. So this goes with a pair of pants that I have and it's a outfit the only set outfit I have for the month of October yeah it's happy Halloween and it's little candy corns holding it up not everyone likes candy corn I don't care you gotta admit they're kind of colorful and cute well when they have faces but the actual candy itself is really just I love the color scheme of the candy I'm gonna save this and put it aside to show you with the pants later when I find the pants because we're gonna go through the tights too I wore this shirt when I was in Liverpool I remember I don't know why I remember all my England activities when I was wearing these clothes but I do remember I've got pictures so here I love this one it's so soft it's a v nice v-neck we've got ghosts we've got a full moon bats jack-o-lantern skeletons spiders and spider webs owls ghosts and then it repeats and the same all along it's just it's a lovely shirt another great shirt another baddest shirt I mean it's really not that intricate but it's sparkly silver bats all around this is super casual here's my second ghostbuster shirt and it's a baseball type of tee i ain't afraid of no ghosts and i love this one this is one of my favorite shirts all right and now we've come to the second favorite shirt this is my prized possession when it comes to halloween clothes i bought this at the horror movie convention really i should correct that i really uh, i bought this at a horror convention it wasn't just about movies it was all horror so a horror convention called spooky empire in 2014 and it is a pet cemetery shirt with gabe in the middle of course i tried this but it's still kind of wrinkly and it says i don't want to be buried and Pet Cemetery here, and it's basically designed like a Ramon shirt who sings the Pet Cemetery theme song, and I just think it's the coolest concept ever. And I was so happy when I found this at Spooky Empire, and I bought it and I wore it like that day, and I've been wearing it every year since. And it's another baseball type of tee, and yeah, it's my official second favorite shirt. So these two shirts are my two favorites: the Candy Corn Happy Halloween and the Ramon style Pet Cemetery shirt with Gabe looking angry there so pretty cool love it love it i had the best time ever at spooky empire i'd really love to go back i haven't even looked it up in years but yeah this is one of my favorite trips ever that convention was amazing here's a shirt i made so i bought the base shirt from michael's and i bought this iron one from michael's and it's kind of on its last legs here because it's kind of folding up and getting rough here it says don't eat it and it's a little family of candy corns and they're sad and scared but yeah i love this it's really big and bad fitting but i wear it around the house here's another shirt i made and i've got again the shirt from michael's and the patch from michael's and you just ironed it on and this is a little cute ghost with no mouth and that makes him even cuter you know carrying a little jack-o-lantern and he's got candy in it it's a little pale. This one's kind of not my favorite at all. It says Happy Owloween, and it's an owl just chilling. And it doesn't really scream Halloween, or even, I guess it screams fall a little, but yeah, this isn't my favorite. And if I have to avoid wearing a shirt, I usually like toss this one away. I don't make this one a priority. Now we're coming to a lot of sleep shirts. This is a New Orleans television legend it's a mad scientist type of character that used to introduce bad movies or old like movies on local tv and his name is morgus and he was played by this radio guy named sid noel and sid noel was kind of a strange cat he basically kept in character whenever he talked to anybody and he was very very picky about like the rights to morgus and stuff but anyway he is like a new orleans louisiana legend so this is a morgus shirt that i wear to bed all the time in fact i wore it in my hurricane vlog because it was pajamas so i do keep this out year round i don't put it up in the box i wear it all the time because it's not exclusively halloween so this is a brand new addition to my collection this is from the convenience store that i've done a vlog visiting recently it's called bucky's it's got the greatest mixed nuts ever it's got so much good food and snacks it's insane and the best bathrooms too so if you're in the south looking for a place to go to the bathroom mainly texas florida and you see a Bucky's, go there. They have clean bathrooms. It's amazing. There's freaking hand sanitizer in the stalls. There's awesome locks, so you are sure nobody's going to come in. It's just, it's a great bathroom design. And that's how they get people in there, was their good bathroom design. But cute mascot, great stuff in terms of food and everything else. And yeah, so this is the Bucky's mascot. And that's like the usual logo. And he's all dressed up like a mummy, holding a little pumpkin pail. There's bats and trees. And on the back, there's more. It says Boo Crew. And let me show this a little bit better 
And it's all different Bucky's dressed as different things. Pirate, skeleton, ghost. Again, that's the mummy guy. Frankenstein. And a vampire dude. He's got gray hair for some reason. But yeah, let's see his fangs. That's wonderful. I'm so excited to add this. And it glows in the dark, too. And I haven't worn it yet, so I'm going to wear it for the first time this year. So this one I keep out year round. It's the Midnight Society, established 1991. This came in one of my Nick boxes, and it's not really super Halloweeny. You can watch Are You For The Dark all year long. You can like Are You For The Dark all year long, but I kind of like to keep it special to wear for sleep time around this, you know, Halloween time in October, just because it really gives me Halloween vibes. The whole show gives me that feeling. This is more of a fall shirt. It's just a little kitten plain and some fall-like leaves with pumpkins. It even says pumpkin patch here on the sign. So yeah, it's kind of wrinkly. I did not dry it yet. All right, I'm getting into some more wrestling shirts that I probably won't wear, but I might wear them to exercise. So this is a horror movie obsessed wrestler. His name is Vinny Marcellia, and so he has all kinds of merch that is related to horror. So this just says Tattooed Maniac. That's Vinny here, and that's like his mask. And it kind of looks like, you know, Jason's mask a little. And then you got Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers. Another wrestling t-shirt. I used to love this promotion, which is a Japanese promotion called New Japan Pro Wrestling. And this is their logo, but it's a Halloween version of their logo. And it literally says Halloween, New Japan Pro Wrestling. So yeah, this is their lion's mark is what it's called. That's their logo. This is something I haven't worn yet. It looks kind of plain on the front, it just says, hey Arnold, it's from a Nick box. I got it like last November, even though it was supposed to arrive before then. This is the Halloween episode of Hey Arnold. So this is what this represents. And it even says Arnold's Halloween. I know I've got a friend here who watches the videos who just said he finally got a chance to wear his sweatshirt. So I'm glad you got to wear it. This is another wrestling shirt for Vinny Marcellia. The Horror King Presents. The Vinny Horror Picture Show, like the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I love that movie. I love Tim Curry. So yeah, just pumpkins and bats. And when I liked wrestling, I was like, oh, wrestling and horror, yeah. I'll quickly show you these. These are shirts representing New Japan Pro Wrestling again, but they're Halloween themed specifically. This is trick or treat. And because they're, their whole catchphrase is too sweet. So this is trick or treat. Anyway, so Bullet Club is the name of the group. It's a faction. And on the back, Halloween, Bullet Club, and again, Trick or Treat. You got a bat and some graveyards, and this was like a special edition shirt, and I had to have it back when I liked wrestling. Here's another wrestling faction. And I just had to have it because the cool pumpkin guy. This is Los Ingobernales, and they're a great faction. Okay, here is a shirt representing a haunted house here in New Orleans called the Mortuary. Again, you can see haunted house. And on the back, it's just more about the haunted house. There's like a skull in the house itself. If you're not screaming, you're already dead. And it just says the mortuary.net, New Orleans. This is from a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant called Chewy's. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I went to it a few times in Florida, Trick or Tex-Mex. And it's a ghost with sunglasses. Here we have another Disney-themed Halloween shirt, Trick or Treat. And it's a kind of vampire Dracula Mickey and a witch mini. So this is just a pug in a cup and it says pumpkin spice, like pumpkin spice, but a pug. Anyway, not much you need to say. Here we've got a shirt from a zombie run. It's like, it was like a fun run that I did. I was one of the zombies who tried to take flags away from the runners. So I wasn't actually running in the marathon, but I was trying to stop the runners and take their flags. And yeah, it was hosted by nolazombie.com. Z-Day Fest is what it was called. And it was one of the funnest activities I've ever done. And I wish it would come back. It has not come back. All right, we're about to see two of my favorite sleep shirts. Of course, we've got Hellraiser Pinhead. We'll tear your soul apart. Yes, uh, it's very loud, but I very much like it. Of course, it says Jesus wept down there. Angel to some, demon to others. I'll kind of show you. That's at the bottom. 
Yeah, yeah. I love wearing this one. It's, you wouldn't think I'd like this, but somehow this is like my favorite horror movie. It's one of my favorite shirts, whatevs. Other favorite sleep shirt, my Suspiria shirt. It's very big, but I freaking adore it nonetheless. And it says Dario Argento here, and it's basically like the graphic from the poster where it's like a ballerina and blood stripping out, and the font, the famous movie font. Here is another wrestling themed shirt. This is a wrestler called Sammy Callahan, and he's in the mystery machine, like, you know, from Scooby Doo. And it says, you know, the Callahan death machine instead of the mystery machine. And I don't know. I just thought it was awesome. I love how orange it was, and that's why I bought it. So the only time I went to Halloween Horror Nights, it was back in 2014 when I went to the Spooky Empire convention, I believe. It was the same time. Anyway, the front of the shirt, and this is my Halloween Horror shirt, says Fear will eat you alive and it's like a very weird material it's like i don't know i don't even know how to describe the material and on the back it has all of the flipping details universal's halloween horror nights number 24 amc the walking dead from dust till dawn halloween that was awesome alien versus predator giggles and gore inc and some more stuff here at the bottom let me just show you a close-up of all the different things real quick so yeah, this is like the back of the shirt again. I didn't get to go into all the houses that year. We didn't get the fast pass like we should have. I love this one. Of course, it's another Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. This one's black and white and it's amazing. You've got the Pumpkin King and amazing jack-o'-lanterns. All right, last shirt, and it's really not my favorite at all. Here's the one I just wear around the house. I love the minions, but I just don't like the shirt, like the way it fits. And I wish it was one of the cuter minions, like the Bob or, you know, only two eyes. So anyway, so here's one of them, and he's holding like a trick-or-treat little jack-o'-lantern pail. All right, and let's get into the scarves. So I've got a crocheted, I didn't do it, it wasn't me who made it. I'm sure I got it from Etsy. It's a skull scarf, so they're crocheted skulls. Just a line of skulls. So just a really nice scarf you can fold up. Silky kind of feeling. Not real silk, of course. Which, it says Halloween, pumpkin, cat, spider. And this is probably my favorite scarf of all. Black and orange, just jack-o'-lanterns. Awesome pumpkins. I love this one. This one's my favorite. All right. You'll see me wearing it later, so I don't need to wear it now, but I am. And finally, I hardly ever wear this one because it's so huge. I have it folded up a lot. This is just skulls and it's very thin. We're gonna go into the tights now, which are pants. Just, you know, I hardly ever get to wear these as much as I like. So I told you guys about my favorite shirt. Well, the favorite shirt goes with these tights. So these are candy corn tights. Obviously they're completely orange, which is ridiculous kind of. But anyway, the outfit goes together like this. And it's my favorite outfit during Halloween time. All right, here's another pair of pants. They're kind of stretchy. And it's kind of Day of the Dead-ish. You can see the color scheme's kind of like that. You get the sugar skull looking design. Cats and flowers, and these are really hippie-ish and I love them. I just, I just love these, these are wonderful. Standard skull tights, so these are just a tight of skulls. I just bought these, they're awesome. So it's pups dressed up like Halloween creatures. So you got a skeleton pup with a jack-o'-lantern pail. You've got a freaking Dracula looking pup. There's bats on a leash. Uh, there is a like chihuahua mummy. Oh, it's a witch pup. I haven't looked at this closely in a while because I haven't really worn it very much. Candy corns and, oh, here's a pup coming out of a flipping pumpkin. Oh, this is so cute. Anyway, so it's all along the tights. Oh, here's a ghost pup. Oh, so cute. I definitely don't wear these as there's a freaking tag on it. So I've got to start wearing these, I guess. I'm sure they don't fit the best, but this is owl tights, just with some trees and stars and moons. These tights I'd wear with like plain shirts, not the Halloween shirts for the most part, except for the candy corn ones. Otherwise, it's hard to pair like a loud shirt with like loud pants. You have to kind of, that's why it's even harder to wear all the tights because I'm so busy wearing the shirts. You can't wear them both at the same time a lot of times. These are super soft, like velvety feeling. And 
you've just got a whole bunch of designs here. You've got bats and ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns and just really cool patterns. There you go. And I saved the best pair of tights for last. So here we have flipping Universal Monster tights. Let's try to show you. It's hard to see. We got Creature from the Black Lagoon, Pride of Frankenstein. Wolfman. They're for some reason upside down and right side up. I don't understand the the reasoning behind that, but whatever. I love these. I actually do wear these. Are you afraid of the dark socks, which came in a nick box? They're like mid-length witch socks, which has witch boots on it, and it says Hocus Pocus. Not really affiliated with the movie, but still cool. Oh, I forgot a few pairs of tights. I didn't notice these there. Well, here are some striped tights, like pumpkin colors and Halloween traditional colors, orange and black. And I wore these for Friday the 13th recently, so I'm not going to wear them during Halloween. But this is my Jason Lives Flippin' Friday the 13th tights. It says Friday the 13th all over. It also says Jason all over. And it's got Jason's face right here and I've got a picture of me wearing them on my Instagram so you guys can check that out at super kicking it if you want to see how they look back to socks for some reason the most prominent things on socks are witches and witch stuff so here are some witch hats and spiders on a pair of socks mid-length here are black cat type of socks I hardly ever wear these these are knee highs. Yeah, I love knee high socks. It's my favorite type of socks to wear around the house. These are like geek pumpkins. And sorry, my freaking hair is everywhere. So geek pumpkins with random like zebra-ish black and orange stripes. More kind of almost knee high, but not really. They don't think, I don't think they come up to my knee. And it was just jack-o'-lantern. I love these. These are great. So yeah, these are just bats. I don't really think they fit very well anymore. I think the elastic's broken out of them. And finally, these are very old. I can't even tell you where I got them. Purple and black jack-o'-lanterns. Very short socks. All right, that was all the socks. Now quickly, I've got candy corn necklace. It used to light up, it does not anymore. It's one of those things like a you know, cheapo. I'm sure I got it from Spirit or something or who knows where. I was wearing this the other day in my fall vlog, Ghosties. They also used to light up. I used to have candy corn necklace just like that. It fell apart. So no more candy corn necklace. And my favorite cheapo necklace. I think I have a silver necklace that's like a nice skeleton. But this is a plastic skeleton. But I still love him. I always love wearing this one. So here's a skeleton guy on some bones. and It's just plastic. But it's one of my favorite things. And finally my purses. We've got, I mentioned it earlier. The mystery machine so my purse is in the shape of the mystery machine it does remind me of Halloween so that's why I'm showing it in the Halloween collection of attire and accessories here's Scooby-Doo on like the little chain so yeah I love this one it's not very practical it doesn't fit very much but it's cute another purse that doesn't fit very much my bat purse I love this purse but it's the tiniest purse ever created it is so small and the last purse my universal monsters purse the horror, the fright, mummy, Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman's on the back. And I think my parents got this for me and they got me a matching wallet. I don't really use the wallet, but I use the purse a lot. In fact, randomly I put a little Power Ranger, Red Ranger, I don't know, buckle. This used to have something on the end that would hold like keys and stuff but that fell off. All right, and I went and grabbed the earrings and necklaces because I said this should be a complete collection. Even though this video is long, I think it should be complete. So I'll show you my thematic earrings. I've worn some of these recently because they're new. So I've got the Haunted Mask earrings. Of course, the Haunted Mask is Goosebumps. We've got... Jack Nicholson from The Shining when he's frozen at the end. I've got 
Pennywise earrings. Here's one of them. This, is, of course, is the Tim Curry version. All of these earrings, you can tell they're from the same person. So I'll link the shop below. It's from Etsy. Here's Shining again, the Shining. Here we have one of the Chicken Nugget toys back in the day that used to get in Happy Meals around October time. There's different ones, and I actually have the actual Nugget toys from my childhood over on a shelf on the other side of the room. Here's a mummy earring of one of them. From the same Etsy store, we've got Dwight when he got a pumpkin on his head from the office, of course. Two Halloween bows, even though I don't really wear bows, but whatever. You never know. A friend gave me these is basically sugar skull earrings, Day of the Dead. These are very heavy. One side's a spider web, the other side's a spider. I don't know, just super heavy. Cheap pumpkin stud earrings, hanging skeleton earrings. Not expensive, but I don't care. All right, and I have a spider set of stud earrings and a ghosty set of stud earrings. Here we've got some hanging skull earrings with some dangly pieces. I like these. This is just a necklace with some skulls and black and silver beads. And finally, just like a hanging skeleton guy. I almost forgot the best piece of my whole collection, my shoes. These are my Toms that I got custom when I was at that Spooky Empire convention. It wasn't at the convention, but it was in Florida somewhere. At some kind of store in downtown Disney, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it's Pennywise shoes. As you can see, these are like hand-painted on the shoes, and they were mailed to me after. And it says we all float down here. And I've got Pennywise socks. I got lots of It socks. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I love these shoes. These are my favorite shoes ever. And sorry, they're really worn on the inside. It's not dirt, it's just like worn down. But yes, lovely, right? All right, so that was it. That was all of my Halloween clothes and attire. And I hope you enjoyed this really long tour. But hey, it's not every day I get to show off this collection. And I've been wanting to do this video ever since I started in the horror tube community. I've had these clothes for so long. And now a lot of people appreciate them, so hopefully you guys like them. So, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this long video. And I would love if you left a comment. Do you have a favorite piece of clothing or an accessory that you like to wear around this time of year? And did you like any of the pieces I showed? What was your favorite? So, I got lots more coming up. Lots of thematic stuff for Halloween time. So there's plenty more content like this to come. That was clothes related, of course. But I've got lots of horror movie content coming. And I'm so excited. But for this time, that's it for me. Till next time, guys. Keep on killing it.